So what happens when an airplane stalls? Basically, it stops producing lift. As the airspeed decreases, the angle of attack, which is the angle between the wing and the oncoming airflow, necessarily has to increase. At a certain point, the airflow can't make that smooth curve over the top surface of the wing and will separate instead, creating an area of swirling back pressure that destroys lift. Because stalls happen at low speeds, such as on takeoff and landing, they're an important part of any pilot's flight training. I must have done hundreds when I was getting my license, for instance. They're also an important part of any flight test program, in part because the stall speeds that we determine by test drive the airspeeds that we use in later tests. We're also looking at the flight characteristics during the stall. That is, does the airplane have a tendency to roll one direction or the other as it's entering the stall? And can the pilot control it safely during the recovery into normal cruise flight? Because these stall characteristics and speeds are so important, they tend to be the first tests that we do in any flight test program and set the tone for the rest of testing. Mm -hmm.